Joe. Yeah, so look, we have the nuts and bolts of this now already down. Three different charges in this indictment, two of them for Hunter Biden related to lying allegedly on that form where he said, I'm not a drug user and it was a permit to, to get a gun. The third charge being uh, that he was in illegal possession of that firearm as a drug user. So uh, the reason that the plea deal originally fell apart and the reason we are here today was in part because both sides of this simply couldn't agree on what their plea deal meant for the future moving forward for Hunter Biden. There were concerns that, as we see now, House Republicans continuing to do these investigations on Capitol Hill into the Biden family, into Hunter Biden. Uh, there were concerns that moving forward, even if he agreed to this plea deal, there were going to be future potential charges as a result of these investigations. And they simply wanted to get him some level of immunity. It seemed that Hunter Biden's lawyers, last week had actually checked in with them, thought this deal meant one thing. The prosecutors in this case from the DOJ thought it meant another thing. That's why the judge threw this out. So let's talk about the politics uh, of this now for a minute. This is going to be a major headache for the White House, certainly. Uh, you know, they thought that this Hunter Biden situation was going to be behind them legally, certainly not politically, but legally, if that plea deal had gone through back in July, it was at least one thing that they didn't have to worry about uh, and maybe ask questions, you know, answer questions for. No longer the case. If this indictment ultimately ends up being a trial, this is going to continue to be a thorn in the side of the White House press team. They will continue to get questions about it. Democrats on Capitol Hill, I imagine, the same thing, again, as Republicans continue to push forward. Now, the thing we're not talking about here is the other uh, allegations against Hunter Biden, which are the tax crimes that he is also alleged to have committed. Remember, in that plea deal, it was going to be those that he was going to admit guilt for, which was that he didn't pay uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes uh, on income that he was making from his foreign business dealings. We don't know what's going to happen with that. Potentially more charges, but that is the line that House Republicans, again, politically, are really pushing in their investigations. We know that those IRS whistleblowers have already come forward and said, uh, under oath, there was enough there and sort of a loose agreement that they were potentially going to file felony charges against Hunter Biden for that. Well, we ended up seeing the plea deal. He was going to agree to uh, saying these were misdemeanor charges. So moving forward, I think that's going to be a big question here, legally and politically. And, you know, we've already seen Republicans talk about the last plea deal being a sweetheart deal. This obviously just breaking, so we're gonna have to dig more, do some more reporting. I'm curious to see whether this satisfies some Republicans who say that Hunter Biden has been getting favorable treatment or whether some Republicans might say this is the beginning of what looks like a justified result for him for his alleged crimes. Uh, we will see. Nonetheless, this is gonna be a thing now that the White House and Democrats on Capitol Hill will have to continue answering for. And as we see a number of potential trials for former President Trump, and we see an impeachment inquiry for the president himself, now we're talking about a legitimate indictment for the president's son, not something that the White House heading into a election year was hoping to have on their plate. Certainly not. All those charges, though, as you've pointed out many times, you're reporting against President Trump are against him himself, whereas now we're dealing yeah. with um, you know, the form or oh, the current president's son. Certainly a distinction. All right. Uh, thank you, Joe. Joe Khalil, live in Washington. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.